Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. I'm going to get straight to it because of the sensitivity of the content, sen sensitivity of the nature of this story. All right. Children, kids, right? To me, children and kids are the most innocent, innocent, innocent beings on this earth, right? Because they have not been yet exposed to <laughs> reality, the harsh reality of what this world is capable of, what this capable of, right? If you guys have not followed this story about Gabriel Fernandez, this young boy, there was a whole Netflix documentary series put out about this on a case on a few years ago. When it first came out, you know, friends, family members start talking. Hey, did you see that documentary? Did you see this? And th at the time, I had not. They start saying, oh, man, it, it really upsets you. It's really unnerving. It's really. Uh, and even then, I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to see it. Right. I don't want to see it. Finally, um, you know, I said, I don't want to see it. You know, I did work in the California Department of Corrections for 16 years. In there, you have convicted felons, right? Convicted of felonies in the court of their peers for numerous, numerous ranging charges. Everything, everything from arson, everything from battery with serious bodily injury, everything to this type of monstrosities, right? Uh, rape, murder, serial killers, kidnappers, bank robbers, uh, manslaughter, DUIs. You got the whole variety, right? And I know I'm missing a bunch, but you kind of get my drift, right? Assault with a deadly weapon. Mayhem. When it came to kids, right, kids, anybody, anybody, and this is what I'm going to touch on, can agree that that's a no-go, can agree, something just happened up north, something just happened up north involving a little baby, right, in the Central Valley area. It's off limits, right, it's off limits, it's supposed to be off limits, right? This individual right here in the orange jumpsuit goes by the name of Isaru Aguirre. If I'm chopping up his name so well, Isaru Aguirre, right? Him and his girlfriend, the mother of this child, tortured beat up, did some bad, bad things to this child, right? Horrible, un un unfathomable stuff. So what happens? What happens, right? The date is May 24, 2013. That's the day that this, that these guys got caught for this. So what happens when an individual like this guy right here, right? The scumbag right here. What happens to a person like that when they touch down the California Department of Corrections? The fact that this was televised for the whole entire world to see, the crimes were explained in detail, that adds to his fate, right? His fate, his future. I say that adds to it because you have inmates in there that have done as bad and, and or definitely, 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 definitely worse than this. You know, probably asking yourself, how, how can it get worse? Trust me, you are better off not knowing. You are better off not knowing, right? It got to a point where I stopped, 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 
stopped reading files, C files, on the computer that their crimes, their police report, it stopped, right? If I saw a certain charge, right, the commitment offense, if that thing popped up on the screen, I didn't go in there. I didn't. Had I in the past, yeah. And now I'm like scarred from it. I'm scarred because I know what monsters are capable of, right? With that being said, it was televised. So now the whole world got to see it, right? The other guys can kind of just fly under the radar, so to say, right? They know that they got bad charges. Other people know that they got bad charges, but they definitely don't know the extent of those charges, right? So they're able to walk around, interact, play basketball, eat ice cream, go to the doctor's office, go to get some medical treatment, play handball, play horseshoes, like it's not a, like it's regular normal program, right? But as I've explained throughout the duration of my channel, there's different levels to convicts, inmates, and code, and conduct, and rules within themselves, right? One of those well-known and notorious rules is if you have charges against women and children, you are going to get dealt with. You are going to get dealt with in the way that California prison inmates know how to deal with people, right? <laughs> you don't get a pass. You don't get a, ex you don't get to explain yourself. You don't, nobody wants to hear it. Nobody wants to hear it. There is no excuse. There is no explaining yourself. There isn't, right? This individual got charged with the death penalty. I believe the death penalty, right? So he, in essence, in 2018, this dude, Isaro Aguirre, touched down at um, San Quentin State Prison, right? Well, San Quentin rehabilitation center right now put a guy like this in san quentin california state prison san quentin and rename it to california san quentin rehabilitation center does that make any sense to you right off the bat does that make any sense to you all right now with that being said <laughs> Prior to me resigning, they released death row. Somebody corrected me in the comments and said, hey, be advised, just so you know, they are there are still some death row inmates housed in San Quentin. Oh, oh cool. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that input, that insight to let me know and let everybody else know that they didn't release everyone from death row, right? Just the majority, right? To include this guy right here. In March, April 2021, Aguirre was transferred to Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility in San Diego. Where I happened to work. On the yard I happened to work on. Facility D, Delta Yard. I was a lieutenant on that yard. You have buildings. You have five buildings. It's a 270 design. Somebody asked, what is the difference between a 270 design and a 180? All right, a 270 design is you look at a housing unit. You walk into the building in the middle. You can physically see with your eyes, A section, B section, and C section. All right, there is no walls dividing. If you're in the control booth, you have a 270 degree view of the whole entire day room. A 180, I never worked a 180, right? I did see one when we went on the trip at the academy and there's walls separating those sections. A and B section separated, B and C section separated with doors that can lead you to the other sections, right? More controlled. So instead of having a whole building access, you have little sections. This was a, Delta Yard was a level three S and Y 
right? 270, of course. Oh, I forgot to mention how this guy ended up in uh, Donovan. So it says he was admitted to San Quentin State Prison on June 13, 2018, awaiting execution. However, his execution has yet to be set in accordance with the moratorium on capital punishment issued by California Governor Gavin Newsom. That's how he ended up at Donovan. How was he welcomed? How was he greeted? I already told you. Man, you can essence probably have somebody that's harmed children. Maybe not as bad as this guy. And doesn't even like this guy for what he did, right? It's like the pot calling calling the kettle black. Like, they took flight on that individual, right? They beat him up. I don't recall that specific incident. I don't even think I was involved. Could have been my day off, right? Like, didn't, it didn't. It's not one of those things that I, to me, and this was hard and challenging. Everybody had to be treated fairly. Listen to what I just said. To me and the way I conducted myself, everybody had to be on this plain le- playing level field, right? Or else I would not be able to be able to like perform my duties. Right, And that fought with my morals and my ethics and my values and didn't sit well with me. I have a daughter, four-year-old daughter, right? So it's not that I was rooting for this guy to get got. It's just one of those things, man. Day, a normal day, a normal routine, a normal shift. However, it's not exactly normal considering his televised crime his network his 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 netflix documentary series right that poor child it's not your average right it's not your average there's clearly more to this from what i heard from what i gathered he numerously kept beating up everywhere he went he kept get beating up right they kept beating him up over and over and over again, right? I, I can see that. I can understand that, right? Imagine, just imagine, you got to live with somebody like this. Like I told you, there's other worse amongst the, the population. They're just hitting Netflix documentary series on them. The, the wife or the girlfriend, the mother of this child, she ended up at a woman's facility. If somebody can f- confirm, I'm pretty sure they either ate, they either threw hot water on her face or sliced her face up with a razor real good. Point, still the same point, still the same concept. And it's almost like karma, right? It's almost like karma. I, I've done a lot of dumb, bad stuff in my life. Of course, never to this degree, but you kind of get what you receive, right? What you put out to the world is kind of what you get back. And hey, these guys did the unspeakable, right? So it doesn't, it only makes sense that the remainder of their life, they're going to have to pay for their actions, consequences, in one way or another, right? With that, the message for today is take care of our youth. Take care of our youth. Take care of our youth, man. And when I went to Iraq in 2004, I was I was 19 years old, right? My innocence was lost there. My innocence was lost there. I know what it's like to have your innocence shattered. It's devastating. There's no coming back from that, right? Keep pushing forward.